start. Good afternoon again. Everybody, thank you very much for your time today with uh, join our event. Today we present our uh, new book. We received a grant from Heritage Fund UK and we publish a book about uh, a history of Lithuanian writers in the United Kingdom. Uh, here we got today writers who are on this book. So I would like to introduce to, uh, Judita Grublienie. She is this project manager. Hello to everyone. <laughs> Very nice to see all of you here and project uh, managers uh, and authors and uh, participants uh, and um, especially uh, thanks for England uh, Heritage for supporting us with that amazing project. Um, and here we are with our very nice, amazing outcome uh, of this project. So this uh, amazing book, A History of Lithuanian Writers in the United Kingdom. Uh, so we are very, very happy to have this book uh, because as I know, it's uh, like a first one book about the, our uh, um, uh, Lithuanian and UK writers heritage. Uh, so we are... Um, uh, we are very happy to have that and uh, thanks again for supporting us. Uh, so what I want to say, uh, this idea came as Aldona just mentioned, yeah, uh, in, uh, from our conversations, from uh, our discussions, from our uh, earlier activities. Uh, so uh, we decided to do this amazing job uh, and we chose some authors from our Latinian past and uh, from uh, current uh, uh, authors who are uh, living here, uh, stay here in UK uh, and uh, uh, writing this uh, uh, artwork here. Uh, so this is a uh, 10 quarters in that book. Uh, we have five from uh, our past and five uh, current authors. Uh, so um, I think um, uh, uh, as a part of our heritage, Lithuanian literature and poetry is very important to our culture uh, and that's why we decided to do that job. So thank you again to each one uh, for this hard work and uh, uh, doing the, his own part in this project. So thank you very much to Aldona. She she <laughs> did very uh, hard work and she was working very, very hard. I know that and she spent a lot of time uh, uh, to get that book here uh, done. And thank you very much to all our amazing authors uh, who agreed uh, to take part in this amazing book. Thank you very much to everybody. And um, uh, I would like to ask now uh, our authors here yeah, just to uh, come and to, to read this poetry. <laughs> thank you very much, uh, Judita. Yes, but uh, first, uh, as Judita said, we had uh, five authors in the past and five uh, current authors. Unfortunately, we lost one author from uh, current time. Uh, and I'm so sorry for this. We have today uh, Algimantas Ramanauskas' uh, wife, uh, and we would like to uh, just give books as, as a remembrance about Algimantas. In this, uh, in this book, Algimantas uh, Ramanauskas uh, is his fantasy story. It's called for the blood blessed feathers, feathers be. He is our heritage. It is this author is our heritage forever. And uh, thank you very much. And this is for you. Okay. First author, I would like to invite Svayunas Dachkevichus who is author uh, from this book, please, for Jonas. Punktu nevera. Nebūjus aukštaitijai, utenoj, sudėjikės, vižanas, ašpalės, ir untladakalnė neskoriai, nesprausiai būkoj, untlajų taką nebuvoja žvarys, 
Na, pasakyk tau ragnas, nebuva ir šuminos. Dienai atastagauja tadas blinda. Yeah, I would like to invite now Neringa of the Gita. But in the end of my uh, uh, like introduction about myself, I wrote some things what I would like to tell for every single person in this world. We are all creators. We are, are all amazing. To everyone reading this, I want to tell you that you are unique and loved. You are loved just as you are. It doesn't matter what stage of your journey you are at. Uh, shine with all your colors, with all your beauty. Don't listen when the people try to stop you or make you feel bad for being different. Just keep going. Um, actually, it's quite strange to translate poems from uh, uh, Lithuanian to English, uh, and this translation process was quite, quite strange, quite interesting, and uh, and it's um, yeah, it's it's really um, this project actually it was really big encouragement for me to start to write in English. Um, uh, honestly, I, for now, I can uh, write just songs in English because the um, lyrics is more sim is simple, not like poem. For uh, for a poem, I, I guess I still need to learn more uh, academic <laughs> language. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but I carry on with this. I'm studying in university, so I'm trying to do so. <laughs> I need to do so. So. Um, I'm gonna read two of my poems. One is about world. Another one is more about the person. I will I will not save the world. It will go on growing and sometimes stray in pain or from from mortal agony until someone pick it up again until it drop it by it die. And will remember everything. A tear will roll down away, life will become clear again, and I I will lie I will lay by the sea, buried in the sand, looking up, the sky and me are one. Very much thank you very much, Neringa. That's it. All right, thank you very much. And finally, I invite our project manager, Judith Grubliene. She is author as well. She is poet and she will read your poems. Thank you, uh, So, I would like today to read to you some, some poems. Uh, one will be from that book and a few new ones. So, emigration, uh, the dreams dreamed by longing, the rain cried from longing, the head is frozen from trembling in worry sleepless night, not drop shoes of emigration, and not baked cakes for coming back home. The dust of exclusion becomes more and more oppressive with every day and didn't go away to infinity, becomes more and more protracted, like a dream is a past time, which cannot be forgotten at all, like a little lost child wandering in a foreign country. The doors are locked for coming back, the roads are closed for coming back, eyes wide open, watching. The guide is asking, where is my hold? Hello. I'm really sorry I can't be with you this afternoon, but I just want to tell you how much I've enjoyed working on this project and how much pleasure it's given me to work on these poems by Lithuanian poets in exile. It just shows what a rich treasury of culture it is. Um, and so I'm going to give you, well, I'm going to read you a couple of the poems that I've been translating, working on the translations with Aldonis, and just to show what this amazing um, treasury of poetry is and how it touches the soul and touches the experience of 
um, poets in exile, um, and particularly Lithuanian poets in exile, and I think were quite remarkable poems. Um, so I'm going to start with a poem by Vladis Vladislaitis, which I think you probably know. I think he's a, he's, he's a very famous poet um, and much loved poet um, who experienced England in his own way. Um, so the first poem is a poem called Sh Shipments Not Carried, which I think is a very well-known poem for Lithuanians. I see the same folk appearing from time to time against the calm grey sky along the far northern horizon. Evening is falling. Tired animals and workers return from the fields with carts full of the fruits of fall to fold safe away from the summer heat's harvest. Cows quietly doze in cosy byres with pale horses. The autumn yield and folk sleeping together in shelter. I see the same folk in my far off northern homeland appearing from time to time against the same grey sky. But my homeland carts are hollow emptied of the summer fields tranquillity there was no autumn cargo the carts came laden low with pain and starveling nags haunt the broken hovels their bared teeth gnawing wooden beams and this is broken in two broken in two. Ha, I live in London, oh heart, as a scumbag. I'm drawn ever back to Okmerge, she-wolf city. But if I went to Okmerge today, it would be as if I was entering a mausoleum, because everyone I once loved has long gone. And I would not know the young and the vital. And this is on the banks of the Thames. Cleopatra's needle makes me sad because it stands not by Nile's waters but the Thames. Nor is it the water of my Shvenatochi River but the Thames. And this fills me with sad thoughts of Cleopatra on the banks of the Thames. And this is a bit more of a cheerful poem. It's called In Another World. I would like to be a simple poem which smells of roses and summer sky. I would like to be a big red solar drum to beat a happy rhythm in the summer sky. What else would I like? I don't know, I just want to. I would love to be with you and see how love looks in other worlds in the summer sky. And that's slightest. And here is another wonderful poet who I've not yet had the pleasure to meet. Um, his name's Svajunas, and I think sure you probably know him. Um, he, if you don't, then you certainly should, because his poems are very, very moving. So the first one is Senility. Stooping, deaf in the aging hours, hobbling towards the house of God, through streets of strewn flowers, nearer to your own you trod. And your eyes 
lift to the skies, a mysterious new space where the souls of ancestors rise. Wait, it's not yet your place. Stooping, deaf and on your own, disappearing into the mist, a silent evening prayer alone, the melting candle on the mist. And this is how do you live today? From sweet king cups in the meadow, I drink the summer evening scent, and the sun's cheek scarlet glow heralds the gentle night's descent. All is calm, forgetful peace, no city noise to trammel the soul. No luxury beneath the trees on my cheek. Tears of happiness roll. Fatherland, let me get drunk on you. You're too precious for me to be apart. How do you live today? Tell me, do. What stirs a weary Lithuanian heart? And this is a song of love, a poem of lost love. It's called Effortless Hand. You lose me with an effortless hand after waiting momentarily releasing me from happiness's ban to ungrateful human destiny. And I, poor fool, groan and believe as pain slides into being lonely. Let the feelings go, let them leave to decorate the street of destiny. You scratched my face with an effortless hand, left my faith entirely shattered. Why? go so far together i can't understand when we knew it never mattered and this is waiting i'm waiting play spring for me with fingers and birds fluting chorus until Turned into tears from birch tree, I spill out on love's shores. Then, escaping the darkest room, goodness will emerge from shade. Maybe the hurt liar will bloom from the half-dressed thought betrayed. Tell your fate just what is hurting, what your depths of soul have lost, when blind trust is suffocating, where the sky is nailed to the cross. And this is a far happier short poem to women. Words and love are for women today. Secret desires, tulips, roses with dew, unearthly beauty, goodness's bouquet, altars of purest feelings are you. Hearts and thoughts smile for you today, feelings by spring breezes curled. To be born a woman is God's gift. I say, to be what's loveliest in the world. And this is a poem called The Great Flight. In the name of humanity, forgive me. 
the secrecy of silence, forgive me. For being on this earth, forgive me. <laughs> so different, believing in love, forgive me. Ah, oh, you know it's to you I'm writing, to those whose hearts too are aching. Am I asking too much? Forgive me if I sue for your thoughts to hear me. It's hard for those who are misfits. No, I'd never go back to the herd. All the good I ever did here, well, it's trampled like fallen blooms in the dirt. Yet, though all of us have, forgive me, been melted in the sweetness of sins, a clean soul is lighter. It must be before the great flight of time begins. Then I'm going to finish with two poem, poems by Naringa, who I believe is going to be singing to you, and you'll have the pleasure to hear her um, in person. I will look online. Okay, um, and these again are very touching poems, and the first is I will not save the world. Thank you, Naringa. I will not save the world. It will go on growing and sometimes stray in pain or pre-mortal agony until someone picks it up again. A toy dropped by a child. I will remember everything. A tear will roll away. Life will become clear again and I I will lie by the sea, buried in the sand, looking up. The sky and me are one. This is the second one, it's When Old Games. When old games are too much for you, and life ebbs away slowly, like berries squeezed of their juice, then you see there is no hurry. You can only have what's for you, what belongs to those it is given, and maybe, maybe for you, there'll be sifted a little slice of heaven. Then maybe you'll leave footprints there, or even the mark of your palm, Maybe you'll meet other hearts there and leave words of love and calm. Maybe then a ruffled sea of poppies will sound like a symphony. Yes, home is where your mind finds ease, where your heart grows peacefully. Thank you. Thank you for listening. And have a wonderful afternoon and let you celebrate Lithuanian poetry with great joy and pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Time was the wind flying dreams You still dream Take a step. One day, if lucky we, in the end of the world, God will come to take our breath, to take away our breath. Don't wait, don't wait for a second moment. Don't wait for a second day. Don't wait for. Don't <laughs> <laughs>